Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. I'm just gonna be giving you guys some tips that I think we all could use for the end of the school year. A lot of seniors are probably out at this time, but my school still has a little bit of time left. We get out around May 27th, whatever that Thursday is in a couple weeks. So really just not feeling it anymore. I'm not feeling like doing my work. Literally so many tests are happening right now. And so it's really hard to maintain motivation from now to the end of the school year when all I wanna do is just be out at the pool tanning. So I created a list of tips that you may already know, but honestly could just refresh your memory or I don't know, just a list of tips to help you guys keep up your motivation, keep up a good mindset um, <laughs> ending the school year. So let's just go ahead and get started. So my first tip is something that I actually saw on TikTok, but it was instead of waiting for motivation to do something, because obviously when are you gonna ever work up the motivation to write an essay or do any of your assignments really, you're never gonna want to do it. You just have to tell yourself it's gotta be done. Honestly, this tip has helped me a lot just because it's like, okay, I'm never gonna just wanna do this. Like it's just gotta be done. And if you have that mindset, you'll get things done and feel so good afterwards because it'll be done because it had to and that's how a lot of assignments are that's basically high school for you there's a lot of things that you just don't think you need but it's just got to be done my next tip is to dedicate your school time to school work to be quite honest I've been pretty not good at this recently because I just want to talk to my friends or I don't know do other things besides my schoolwork in that class but really you're forced to be at school for eight hours or so you might as well dedicate that time to your schoolwork because once you get home why are you gonna want to do schoolwork after you've just been at school for so long which obviously there's times where it's like obviously you're gonna have homework but then if you don't do it at school, then you're gonna realize, oh, I really could've used that time that I was forced to be in that building to do schoolwork. And so you're just gonna regret not doing it once you're at home and all you wanna do is just go hang out with your friends or sleep or scroll through social media. So might as well not waste your time at school and just get your stuff done when you're at school. This is pretty like broad, but just literally set aside some time to do homework. Whether that be an hour, two hours, 30 minutes, literally, any amount of time that you just set aside, nothing else, just set that time aside for your schoolwork or do that essay, do that math homework, I don't know. Whatever you have to do, just set aside some time to just sit down and do it because it's not going away unless you get it done. <laughs> Which is something I have a hard time with. Um, I just feel like it's just gonna go away. But really, once you have it done, it's just, out of your mind going off of that during that time that you set aside put away your phone I have no other thing to say other than just put away your phone I like to say out of sight out of mind and literally that I proved that the other day I was in my room and my phone was right by me and I just kept getting on it so I was like okay this is getting out of hand Ashlyn you have to put your phone away so I went upstairs put my phone away in somewhere that I just don't ever go really I put it by the computer upstairs in like a weird cabinet shut it came back downstairs and then I just didn't really even think about it. It was honestly so nice. I just did that for like an hour. You will be surprised by how much work you get done or not even, it doesn't even have to be homework. You get so much stuff done when you don't have your phone with you. <laughs> not to mention having your snap notifications turned off helps tremendously. I've had them off for a while now. I have an Apple Watch, so every time I would get a Snapchat or any notification, I would get a buzz on my watch, and you know how toxic that is. You look at it every time, it's not the person you want it to be, and then you just like, ugh. You just get like the feeling of, you know? I kind of think I probably elaborated on that too much, but turn notifications off on your phone, set your phone upstairs, and do your work. It helps so much. The next tip, okay, it kind of helps me sometimes, kind of doesn't other times, but I wrote down, just think about summer. It is literally so close. We only have a little bit of time left. We might as well just push ourselves. And that goes with like my next thing, which is like a race analogy. So say you're like running the mile in track. I don't know. Say you're running a mile around the track and we've already done three and a half laps. You literally just have that 200 left, that you're just supposed to sprint that. Well, it's more like that 100 is you're supposed to sprint. I don't actually know, but that's how I like to think about it is that by the end of that, all you have left is the 100 left to run. You literally just want to give up. You're feeling so tired, but you know everyone else is behind you that you've already beat. You can't let them beat you. So now you just got to sprint it all out. If you just give up at that last 100, then everything you've done up until then is just 
not even worth anything. So basically that what goes along with school in the sense that you work so hard, oh, I hope. <laughs> up until now so don't let these finals and tests and AP tests all that stuff mess with your grade obviously AP tests don't but so don't let that mess you up at the very end just because you decided to give up on that last 100 sprint because right now is a dead sprint there is so many tests so many things to do and at this point it's like you just want to let that well, you don't want to let that overcome you, but it is overcoming you if you don't just sprint it out. <laughs> just just get your stuff done. We have no time to waste. Summer is coming up. A little short-term thing that you can do in the moment as you're studying is just give yourself a coffee. If, even if you don't like coffee, give yourself something else. Water, but I just say coffee because gives me energy and makes me happy. It is something that I reward myself with as I'm doing my work and it really just gets me going. But moral of that, reward yourself. Reward yourself after you're done. Go on a drive, that's what I usually do. I am like, okay, let's work up until sunset, then go on a sunset drive. That's how my mind works. <laughs> Along with studying, I like to listen to music. So music with words, I, I, I don't really, I'm not really into the classical no word music. Then I just think about how much I want to be listening to Morgan Wallen or Justin Bieber, I don't know. I <laughs> I think that more upbeat music that I know kind of motivates me more because it's something I'm familiar with and then it makes me happy. So do whatever your mind works with, but um, something obviously not too distracting, but something that gets you pumped up to do your work. I have a lot of playlists on Spotify, free Spotify plug, I guess, I don't know. I have a listening to now playlist that I always have on shuffle and I'm constantly adding new music to it all the time. So if you want to follow that feel free to or listen to your own music i mean that's probably gonna be better anyway but just saying if you don't know what music to listen to i have a lot of music on my spotify this i guess i should have mentioned earlier but that is just to clean up your space i mean you can't really do that for school but when you're at home especially if you're still like virtual just make your bed then you won't get in your bed then you won't want to sleep well you might want to sleep still but you can't because your bed is made i like to clean up my desk which i haven't done my work yet so my desk is not clean but i will do that before before I get to work. Honestly, just having a clean workspace is so nice. Clean space, clean mind. And then my last thing that I put is give yourself checkpoints to reach. So after five songs is over, I better have this paragraph done on my essay. Something like that, just like miniature checkpoints that you can reach um, because I'm definitely a per type of person that likes to do lists and stuff. So that kind of in a study sense goes with it because you're checking things off checkpoints you know i like to do that it's like okay once i'm done with my magazine report then i can fill in the blank do whatever you want do whatever you want to do that works for you i don't know different things motivate different people so that's kind of the moral of everything that's really all i have i know this video wasn't very long but obviously it doesn't need to be this is just wasting more time that you can be studying right now so you better go do your work after you watch this video but anyway i love you guys so much literally summer is so close some of you guys might already be done with school i don't know it's the 13th of may so i bet a lot of you guys are still in school probably in the last stretch just like me so we got this we can do it we got it <laughs> literally summer is coming up so soon and prepare for more videos for me during the summer because that is when i thrive and that is when i'm the happiest so we got it we just got to get there so let's just sprint it out anyway i love you guys so much don't forget to come like subscribe check out my vlog channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye